greetings and welcome back to Naturally Corporate. So, I recently showed you how I do a high bun and I'm still rocking that bun. It's going on two weeks now. Uh, so it's turning out to be somewhat of a protective style and I know that's, you know, a, what a lot of naturals do. We protective style that gives our hair a break from the whatever we may do to it every day <laughs> or every week. It just lets our hair rest. So my high bun is actually turning out to be a protective style, which means I do need to continue to take care of my hair and scalp underneath the bun. So this is what, this is how I maintain my bun at night. It is the, one of the easiest hairstyles out there. I just put my bonnet on, go to bed, take it off in the morning as such and go on about my day. Now, at night, I will um, take care of my scalp. If I don't do it at night, then I'll do it in the morning. And this isn't something I do every single day, maybe every two to three days. But with my hair being up, sometimes it itches, the weather's warmer, I sweat in my head. So I really have to make sure I get in there and moisturize it and just give it some attention. I do have dermatitis, seborrheic dermatitis, which is another reason why I don't mind taking my bun down and just going in there to take care of my scalp. So let me show you this trio that I've been using. You certainly don't have to use the products that I'm going to share with you. Um, but again, this is a little trio that I found that really works for me. It takes care of my hair and my scalp. So the first one is the um, Luscious Locks Herbal Silk Argan Oil. And this is from Pydana Collection. I have um, shared this with you before on my channel because my hair really likes argan oil. I didn't know that. I didn't even learn that maybe until about a year ago. But once I did, me and this argan oil <laughs> have been a great team together. I use the argan oil and I use that on my ends. Um, this is another oil that I've mentioned to you recently. Canvas, uh, Canvas it is called the Hair Blossom Serum. I wanted to say the name correctly. And this is by Canvas Beauty. This is my um, second bottle of the Hair Blossom Serum. I bought, the, I started using this, I think in August or September of 2020. And I really think it helped my hair sprout out. I know my hair was, you know, healthy and doing well, but once I started using the canvas every single night, I just noticed a difference in my hair. And so I'm sticking with canvas. And there's only one more thing. The third item that I'm using is Refresh Me Baby, and this is by Kinky Coils. This is a black owned business. Um, the other two are as well, Canvas Beauty and Pydana Collection. These are all black owned businesses, female owned. Um, but the Refresh Me Baby is a small black owned business out of Maryland. And I love this spray because it's soothing to my scalp. And um, I just go in there, take my bun down, go in there and spray this on and it just feels really nice and refreshing. So all I do, this is my realistic quick routine and how I maintain my bun. And y'all, it's really easy. I'm not playing. I think I had a lost bobby pin in here the other day. And I, <laughs> I just left it in. I didn't even try to find it. So we'll pull that out. Okay. All I have is three bobby pins in here. And typically, I only use two. So I just take my bun down either at night or in the morning whenever I am refreshing it or taking care of my scalp. And easy. Let's see. Looking for my comb, which maybe I didn't bring with me. So I won't even worry about it. But I just part my hair. And go in with the Refresh Me Baby, especially in those areas where my hair feels kind of tight. Uh, where I've been scratching. I just go in and spray it and rub it. And this has uh, some really good ingredients. It has coconut oil, uh, rosehip oil, 
tea tree oil and that's what gives it that tingly feeling and a few other good things in here too but yeah it just feels really nice going on and I typically go all around my hair my head and scalp and just really make sure I get that in just kind of massage that in really good And then next, I'll take my uh, Hair Blossom Serum by Canvas Beauty and do the same. And you know, some people may say, well, that's kind of overkill. You putting all these oils and sprays in your hair. Well, this is turning out to be my protective style. And I still want to make sure my hair and my scalp are taken care of. And I, I <laughs> let me tell I honestly been calling myself working out, <laughs> going to the gym. So there's a lot of sweat, um, just lots of buildup in there. I'm still not shampooing it yet. Well, actually, I think I'll probably shampoo it um, this coming weekend because it'll be going on two and a half weeks and it's starting to itch. So I do want to get rid of all the buildup that I've been <laughs> that's been piling on and uh, keep my scalp refreshed because even though I'm keeping it moisturized, I still need to make sure it's cleansed as well because a clean scalp is a happy scalp. Now I'm doing kind of an abbreviated version right now, but I will stand in my bathroom mirror and part my hair in every single way. I part going all the way back, straight back, all over and apply the hair blossom serum and then I'll go from side to side. I have noticed my hair just feels a little fuller and I've definitely gotten some length. So whatever is contributing to it, it could be um, a combination of products I'm using, just how I'm overall taking care of my hair um, and possibly this hair blossom serum. So I make sure I get my edges and definitely around my nape and just kind of massage the oils in. And then the very last thing is the argan oil. And this I don't necessarily put on my scalp, but I put it on my hair just a little. Argan oil is a very light oil. It may be the lightest. I'm not 100% sure, but it is very, very light. And with me having fine hair, it doesn't weigh my hair down. Now that doesn't concern me so much because I'm wearing the bun, but when I'm wearing my hair um, straight, you know, flat ironed, I can put a little bit on my ends every few days just to keep them moisturized and I still have body. It doesn't make my hair clump up like, you know, hair may do with a regular thicker oil. And like I said, I make sure I get the nape too. All right, so once I have all of my oils in, I just put my bun back in. Okay, so that's it. I'm telling you, the bun is by far one of the easiest styles that um, I have found. Just to, it's, it's cool, it's comfortable, 
You can dress it up, dress it down. When the weather is hot outside, just pull your hair up into a bun. And if you're not able to make a bun out of your own hair, it is okay. Buy you a bun. <laughs> just buy a bun. You can find every color, every size, and make it your own. Thank you so much for watching. I will list all of the products that I used to maintain my hair and scalp while in a bun. I will list them in the description box. And let me know what you use to maintain your hair when it's in a protective style. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep it naturally corporate.